Um, oxygen can be made in space by using a process called electrosis. It's when they use H2O and break off the hydrogen molecules from the oxygen molecule. And the hydrogen is ejected from the spacecraft. Or burned. Or burned. That's what he did. Okay. Yeah. All right. In the Martian, they call oxygen regeneration uh, an oxygenator. And it makes oxygen using carbon dioxide uh, from the Mars accident fuel generator for him to breathe. Uh, in real life, astronauts use the oxygen generation system which reprocesses the atmosphere of the spacecraft to continuously provide breathable air efficiently and sustainably. The system produces oxygen through a process called electrolysis, which splits water molecules and their component oxygen and hydrogen atoms. The oxygen is released into the atmosphere while the hydrogen is either discarded into space or fed into the sebator system which creates water from the remaining byproducts in the station's atmosphere. Oxygen is produced at a more substantial rate through a par partially closed loop system that improves the efficiency of how the water and oxygen are used. NASA is working to recover even more oxygen from byproducts in the atmosphere to prepare for the real journey to Mars. Okay, and this is where my mind is a little fuzzy on this, and parents at home that are watching your kids do these presentations, if you've got ideas on this. In the movie, he scrubs carbon dioxide to pull the oxygen, the two oxygen from the CO2 off instead of this electrolysis that they're doing at NASA. I don't know exactly how they go about doing that. If, if you do, make a comment on this video. Thank you. All right. The chair is All right. Save your mic. Hi, my name is Jacob Thompson, and I'm in Mr. Rasmussen's fifth period integrated science. I'm Malachi, my friend, and I'm the same class as Jacob. We are talking about oxygen generation. Oxygen generation, food, water, shelter, three essentials for survival on Earth, but they're a fourth we don't think about much because it's freely available. Oxygen. Well, Mars Watney can't just step outside for a breath of fresh air to survive. He has to carry his own supply of oxygen everywhere he goes. But first, he has to make it. In his hab, he uses the oxide generator, a system that generates oxygen using the carbon dioxide from the MAV. Oxygen is produced at more subtanial rate than a particularly closed loop system that improves the effectiveness of how, uh, I don't know, we're done. You don't know the word, so you're just saying, I'm bailing. Okay. No, All right, let's hear it for him. Uh, Carl, can you breathe oxygen on the moon or Mars? No. So how do we do it? You don't? Okay, so they take hydrogen molecules and water molecules from the atmosphere and then they pull it down and separate the two and throw the hydrogen back out into space and throw the oxygen into their habitat and they breathe oxygen. Well, how do they get the hydrogen and the oxygen? They take a water molecule and they separate it. Oh. Yeah. So they have to have water. So they got to be producing water and then don't they have a carbon dioxide filter or something that does this too? Hmm. Okay. Let's hear it for them.